Hello everyone, I am here with more Paleo News. I am super excited because today's show is so full of awesome that I can barely contain myself. But before I get there, I had a couple questions about what's behind me. Uh, it's just basically a poster full of random pterosaurs. Of course, you gotta have the famous one like Pteranodon, Quetzalcoatlus, Ornithocyrus, and then a bunch of other lesser known ones with funny names like Pterodustro, Luda. Ludo Jamokamoko, I don't know. My original plan is to get a whole bunch of posters full of uh, prehistoric animals, or just paleontology in general, and that would be my background, but I decided to postpone that for a while, uh, because uh, I need to find a better place for my camera, because it's always appearing slanted and whatnot. And, because right now I'm just using all these boxes. It's not a good idea to just use a bunch of boxes, but for now, that's what I do. I probably need a safer place for my birds. I can't put them anywhere else right now because the cat tries to murder them wherever they go. So for now, they're safe down there. Why am I rambling? I gotta get to the awesome news. Let's start today off with a cool new tyrannosaur that was discovered in China, whose name I'm not even gonna begin to try to pronounce, so as always, I'll have an annotation do that. Swing, thank you, an annotation. It was 36 feet long and about 13 feet tall, and they say uh, it's it's uh, up there with Tarbosaurus and T-Rex, the same type of dinosaur, same family. It's got all the characteristics of uh, Cretaceous Tyrannosaurus, the big head, the two-fingered hands, the giant teeth. Um, they say they can tell this is a different genus because of some uh, differences in the skull than that aren't seen in any other theropod. And judging and the bones that they have, the jaw bones and the skull bones they have with this animal are only a few centimeters smaller than the largest T Rex, suggesting that this animal was also very huge. And there's more cool. Uh, it lived uh, approximately approximately to the end of the Cretaceous, pretty much 99 to 65 million years ago. That was the whole late Cretaceous. That's when it lived. And there's a bit more information in the link below. A new crocodile was discovered in Brazil named, I think it's pronounced Pepe Sucus. It could be Peep Sucus? I think it's Pepe Sucus, though. Um, it lived in Brazil. If it, if, I don't know how to say that. probably did. Uh, in the late Cretaceous, 99 to 65 million years ago. They say the skull is in such good condition that they were able to create a, a model's a head of what it probably looked like in real life. And here is the head. It's really, really cool looking. Uh, I think it looks awesome. I don't think it would have been that colorful in real life. Maybe it would have, but, uh, you know, all the crocodilians that we have today are kind of dark. They all have the dark greenish, gray, black color to them. Uh, this one has stripe looking things, a, a bright head, kind of. And uh, I don't think they would have been any different from today's crocodiles, but I could be totally wrong. I might be completely and awfully wrong. Guessing uh, the, the color of prehistoric animals is no place to claim absolute fact at all. <laughs> so I could be wrong on that, but it does make the skull look cool, and it's a very interesting crocodile, and you can find more about it in the link below. And here is what I'm most excited about this week, is that a new Spinosaur was discovered named Oxalea. God, I hope I got that right. Oxalalia. <laughs> but it lived 95 million years ago. It was 46 feet long. That is the what? That's no, just as long as T-Rex. Even bigger, kind of. It's a, another giant Spinosaurus, just like Spinosaurus. I love it. What I love most about it is its teeth. It was found uh, to have two rows of teeth. Uh, one already in its jaw primary, and a second row behind the, uh, behind the first row, right replaced the tooth. Uh, like that, like in sharks. And it makes me wonder what other kind of dinosaurs have this feature, but we just don't know it yet. They could be uh, new dinosaurs, it could be uh, dinosaurs that we've been, that we've known for years that had this feature, but we just never found evidence for it yet. Like, maybe some therapies that we don't have the entire skull for, and it makes me really, really, really excited. Um, I hope to see more stuff like this in the future. You can read more about the Spinosaur in the same link with the uh, crocodile. 
I will be back with more paleo news in the future. Look down for the extra links below, just in case I did put more stuff in there I didn't get to talk about today. And until next time, have a groovy day.